What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove the player offline on scoreboard. So, uh, quickly, if you look to the right, you'll see I have my money scoreboard displayed. And it has me on there, then you can see it has my friend, and then it also has two different player offlines. So, whenever someone leaves the game, uh, it'll display as player offline. So, if Neo were to leave the game, then it would display him as play offline, as you can see. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to show you how to fix in today's video. So, I saw this, uh, this was suggested by a lot of people, actually, in the comments, uh, below. So, if you have something similar, like an idea you want me to do, make sure you leave a comment below. And, yeah, let's get into the command. So, you're going to first want to grab a repeating command block, put it on repeat, unconditional, and always active. And the command for this one is going to be test for at A. So that one's just pretty simple. Then you're going to want to take a comparator coming out of it, a piece of redstone. And then you're going to actually want to grab an observer. So you're going to place this here. And then what this is going to do is you're going to have another chain of command blocks here. Uh, so whenever um, someone leaves or joins, this would get activated. You'll see why this is important uh, a little bit later in the video. But for now, make sure you have this setup done, and then we will continue with this chain. So once this is done, you're going to want to place a uh, impulse, unconditional, and need redstone command block here. Uh, this is going to be scoreboard objective remove, and then you're going to want to look at your scoreboard. So mine is money, right? So I'm going to type money, but I'm not finished there. I'm going to actually add a D to the end of it, and that is going to just just that is going to stand for a display. Um, you're going to actually be having two scoreboards. One is going to be the main one, and then the one you're creating now is going to be displaying it. But this will display without the player offline. So, once you are done with that, you're going to place a chain, unconditional and always active, on top of that impulse. You're going to do scoreboard, objectives, add. And then again, mine is money, so I'm going to do money D. Money D, and then I'm going to put dummy. And then, if you want it to display as something different, like, uh, rather than just money D, you can actually add it here, and this is what it'll display as. So, I'm going to make mine just green. So, just like that. So, now it'll display as money whenever it's added. And then, once you have these two commands, so the first one, removing it, and then this one, adding it, you're going to take another chain, put it on top, and this one is going to be scoreboard objective set display sidebar, and then your new scoreboard. So this, for me, is money D. Let's say you have it coins instead of money. I would just say do coins D. Just keep it simple and easy to understand. Okay, so after you've done these three commands, the probably the most complex is going to be on top of this, but it's not that bad. Just copy what I type. So, execute at A, tilde, tilde, tilde. Scoreboard players operation and then this is going to be at s and then you would display scoreboard so mine is money d and then equals at s and then your original one so mine is going to be money for me so just like that uh change the scoreboard names where you need to but this is going to be this command here and actually you're going to want to leave that there but also copy the command block uh and place it somewhere else as well as a repeating a command block so repeating unconditional always active and the command again is the same so this is a command for this one and you should have something which looks like this so you're going to have your test for the comparator the redstone observer and then this chain and then your repeating command block off to the side somewhere so i'm going to break this redstone and place it and that's going to act like someone uh, joined or left and as you can see it has changed on the sidebar uh the player offline no longer displays and you may be scared that, oh, maybe the scores are gone. But if I actually do this, uh, square would just set display sidebar. And then my original one, as you can see, they're still there. So I'm going to change this back to my display. And then if Neo were to leave again, you will see that it gets rid of the player uh, offline. It doesn't show up. Now, uh, when he joins back, you will see that his score is still there. So uh, that will take a second. But, um, I just want to quickly say, this design was not originally created by me. Um, this is actually by Daycom Black Rose. I will leave a link to his video in the description. 
Um, but so many of you guys asked for it, and I had originally made a really big design for this, but he had a video showing such a simple design. So, yeah, I just figured it'd be better to show you guys this rather than have you build something super overcomplicated. But, yeah, so as you can see, Neo's back in the game. He has his score again, and yeah, everything is working fine. Um, if you want as well, you could have this, uh, maybe have a tick delay. So all that would do is, if I set it to 100, if I gave myself, um, if I gave myself, uh, let's say $100, so I'm going to just do this real quick. Uh, and whenever you're giving someone money or taking it, uh, you want to do it from your main one, not your display. So if I were to give myself $100, right, as you can see, I've done that, but it'll take a second to update. So there you go, it just updated. And this can help with lag if you're running into issues like that. Um, it's always nice to set commands so you don't need to be running all the time uh, to like uh, run every maybe five seconds. But yeah, again, it's optional. If you want it to instantly update, you can have it zero like I had before, but it is really up to you there. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you need to go back and rewatch uh, the video to get some of the commands, make sure you do that. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe, and if there's anything that you want to see me do with commands, make sure to leave it down below in the comments. If I think it's interesting, I'll give it a shot. So, yeah, if you like this video, I already said that. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Uh, outros are difficult. Uh, please, don't hurt me. Uh, bye.